सब्जेक्ट नेम सर्किट एनालिसिस टॉपिक नेम ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर क्वेश्चन फाइंड आई ओ इन द ओपैम सर्किट ऑफ फिगर हेयर इन दिस ओपैम सर्किट वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस आई ओ तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मेक दिस सर्किट इन आवर सिम्युलेटर एप एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द आई ओ देन वी विल सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग सर्किट एनालिसिस तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ड्रॉ दिस प्रॉब्लम और दिस सर्किट इन आवर सिम्युलेटर एप तो दिस इज आवर सिम्युलेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू ड्रॉ ओ पैम्प वेयर वी हैव टू ड्रॉ आइडियल ओ पैम्प वेयर निगेटिव इज ऑन टॉप सो दिस इज आवर आइडियल ओ पैम्प देन आफ्टर दैट वी नीड वन टू थ्री थ्री रजिस्टर्स एंड वन वोल्टेज फोर्ड सो वी विल ड्रॉ थ्री रजिस्टर्स this is 1 2 and 3 and one voltage source of two terminal where positive is on upper side now we will connect this 10 kilo ohm is connected to inverting terminal of this op amp so this is of 10 kilo ohm is connected here like this it is also connected to this resistor this resistor value is 50 kilo ohm it is of 50 kilo ohm then here it is connected here like this and this resistor is connected here and it is connected like this you can make it little smaller so it will be like this and here this is connected this is also in the here like this we have to correct the bad connections these are the bad connections now there is no more red mark now here we can see clearly uh, again we will verify one more time so this is this voltage is of 0.4 volt this voltage is of 0.4 volt and uh, here it is connected like this so again wire it is connected like this first bit is connected here then it's connected like this now we have to find io so we have to find this current so to find this current current through this 20 kilo ohm resistor this resistor value is 20 kilo ohm now to find current through this resistor we have to make it we have to add a ammeter here so to add ammeter first we will remove this and here we will add ammeter so so the current through this resistor is 
119.993 micro ampere. So now we will solve this same problem using circuit analysis. So this is our problem. First of all, we will redraw the circuit. And we will assume this as an ideal op amp. So this terminal voltage will be V minus and this node voltage will be let's say it is V plus this current is I minus and this current is I plus. Also let's say this current is let's say this current is or the direction of this current will be let's say this towards the ground because we are assuming this as an ground so all the currents could be towards ground let's say this is current i1 and this is current capital i2 so first of all we will apply ideal op amp condition apply ideal op amp conditions the ideal op amp conditions are v plus is equal to v minus v plus is equal to v minus and second condition is i plus is equal to i minus is equal to zero i plus is equal to i minus is equal to zero now what we will do we will apply kcl at this node or first of all here we can see this v plus is equal to 0 0.4 volt v plus is equal to 0 0.4 volt so therefore we can write since v plus is equal to 0 0.4 volt so therefore v plus is equal to v minus is equal to 0 0.4 volt now at this node we will apply kcl so what we will do we will apply apply kcl that is kirchhoff's current law at v minus so according to kcl summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node here we can see at this node all the currents are leaving that is uh, zero is equal to so we can say entering current at this node is zero so zero is equal to leaving currents are i1 i minus and i2 i1 plus i minus plus i2 now this i1 in voltage form will be v minus minus 0 divided by 10 kilo ohm v minus minus 0 divided by 10 kilo ohm then plus this i minus is 0 according to ideal op amp condition then this i2 in voltage form will be v minus minus this voltage let's say this voltage is let's say this node voltage is vo so v minus minus vo divided by 50 kilo ohm v minus minus vo divided by 50 kilo ohm now we have the value of this v minus v minus is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.4 volt so this will be 0 is equal to 0 0.4 divided by 10 plus 0 0.4 minus vo divided by 50 if we take this 0 0.4 by 10 on left side so it will be 0 0.4 by 10 minus 0 0.4 by 10 is equal to also we can take this 50 on this side so it will be multiplied by 50 is equal to 0 0.4 minus vo now if we take this vo on this side and this on right side so it will be vo is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.4 and this will be plus 0 0.4 by 10 multiplied by 50 so this will be vo is equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4 by 10 multiplied by 50 so it is 2.4 vo is equal to 2.4 volt this is the value of vo what we have to find in this question we have to find io now io is equal to 
this I O is equal to this voltage V O. Here we can write I O is equal to V O minus zero divided by resistance value twenty kilo ohm. So this is the value of V O. This is the value of I O. V O minus zero divided by twenty into ten to the power three. Now V O value is two point four. So this will be two point four. Two point four divided by twenty into ten to the power three. So two point four multiplied by two point four divided by twenty into ten to the power three. So it is one point two. Or we can say one twenty, one twenty into ten to the power six. Since it is current, so its unit will be ampere. So we can write I O is equal to one twenty micro ampere. Since there is ten to the power six, so we can replace this by micro. Now what we have to find in this question, we have to find I O in the op amp circuit. So we have to find this I O, and therefore I O is equal to one twenty micro ampere. And we will see the answer in our simulator app. So it is one one nine point nine nine three, which is approximately equal to one twenty microampere. So hence we can say our answer is correct. If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. Also feel free to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.